Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Let's check out the village of Cullingen today. See if, the, see if Terra made a stop over here. Ah, well there we are. Oh, well, it already left. Nuts. Well, yeah, naked ladies are beautiful. At least I think so. What's sequined? Sequin? What does that mean? I don't get. I mean, I guess it means a flashy dress or a good-looking dress, but I don't know. Oh, I could be your escort. Oh yeah. A bit touched. That must be a mistranslation, huh? Maybe we ought to pay him a visit eventually. Oh, she burned your house down, huh? Oh, yeah, we already talked to that guy. Let's check out the inn here, or the pub. Whatever they call it in this translation. Hey, it's Shadow! Alright! He's awesome, let's get him to join our party! Well, screw off! No, no, he won't join your party unless you only have three people in your party. Uh, and then you still have to pay him 3,000 gold. And then he still has the 1 in 16 chance of running at the end of any battle. So it's really not worth it to bring him along at this point. And besides, I mean, Edgar can kill just about anything in one hit with Flash. So I'm not worried about that. An assassin. Yeah, great, great spelling job, Woolsey. He misspelled it twice. <laughs> He must, like, really think that that's how you spell assassin, huh? I guess, you know, according to the, uh, who, whoever regulates all the censoring and stuff must, uh, not allow the word ass in a sentence more than once. Rachel? Hmm, who's Rachel? You never told us about anyone by that name. Oh, well, let's check it out. What's happening to the music? Okay, I'm going to be pretty quiet for this scene, viewers. Okay, you're just sleeping. Come on, how many people are going to get amnesia in this game? But I like looking at her through the window while she's getting dressed, pretending she's someone that I don't know. scene just gets me a little choked up, man. <laughs> you like my acting skills, huh, viewers? <laughs> that first time I saw that scene, though, that did get me a little choked up, though. I mean, I was nine years old! Come on! Or, well, nine or eleven, or... Young enough! That was terrible! The guy's girlfriend died practically because of him. Let's see, how do we want to get in that house? Let's go over here first. There's nothing interesting at the equipment shops over there. Let's see, oh, there's a back door there, huh? 
Doesn't look like there's anything interesting over there, but eh, maybe I'll check it out. What's going on? Who's that? Suspended animation herbs. You know, after playing Soul Blazer, I'm just going to accept whatever this game is telling me. Or any game, for that matter. I'm not even going to question video game logic at this point. Oh, okay, so she's not really dead, huh? Nope, no way to call her back. She's dead. If only there were an item in the game that could bring people back from the dead, and I don't mean Phoenix Downs. Nope. Sadly, no item like that exists. No way, viewers. Not happening. I'll be honest, viewers, this game made me get teary-eyed more than any, I think, any other game I've ever played. I'll be honest with you. I mean, this is just one of many very emotional scenes in the game. And if you bring Salas along, you get one extra line here. That's the only reason I brought her here. <laughs> okay, well, that's everything we can do there. An interesting thing with Shadow is that if you decide to recruit him... He'll actually, uh, if you rest up at the inn, you have a chance of seeing some strange dreams. Uh, they won't make any sense at this point, but they could later, but I'll just show them to you later anyway when uh, I actually decide to recruit him. Not right now, though. Haha! -ha, there's a secret treasure! We get a green beret, which I, at this point I would recommend using to get out of the house! No, there we are. Okay, yeah, I would actually recommend giving them to whoever your fourth character is. Probably Salus with the Magus hat. Uh, even with that, I, I think the Green Beret is indeed better. Just the added HP is just so incredible. Especially in the Game Boy Advance version where the uh, physical evade bonus is much better. In this version, not so good. Magic defense, I really don't care about. She's not really going to be using magic to attack anyway. So I don't care about the magic bonus too much. I mean, maybe for a cure spell, but... I don't think it's worth holding on to. Okay, well, I think that's everything I want to do here. So now what I want to do is I want to head back to Narsh, rearrange my party so that way I can get the real party that I wanted to use for this area to find Terra. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's just take a look at our party setup. Now, really, the only party members that I really care about having here are Ga and Edgar. Salas is, I, I guess, well, yeah, I guess we want her too, because she can heal, so I don't need to stack up on potions. But, uh, yeah, Ga and Edgar, they're going to be the ones taking care of all the offense. I mean, ma the Martial Rage can basically take out almost anything. If it can't, use Rodax. Uh, Edgar has Flash for multi-targeting, Drill for single targeting. So that's pretty good there too. Uh, Cyan, I just have there just to give him some showtime, really. Whoever else is your fourth party member really doesn't matter. And by the way, we could get more Rages for God, the Velt, but, you know, I'd rather make one trip later than two trips, or two separate trips, and the Rages we can get right now aren't that much better anyway, for right now. An interesting thing about, uh, Gaw, because he can go to the Velt again, if you make a Gaw-only party, and then go to the Velt, or, well, if you make a Gaw only party, come here, recruit Shadow, then have go to the Velt, leap off the Velt, then you return to Narsh. Shadow doesn't want to be in your party at Narsh, or left behind there, so he just ditches your party. The problem is that if you had a Gaw only party who left off the, onto the Velt, and Shadow leaves your party at Narsh, well, you have no one in your party anymore! <laughs> oh, this game is so buggy. Ah, and here's a couple new enemies. Let's take him out with Marshall. All right, there we go. Uh, the Vulture on top there is weak to wind. The Red Fangs could probably be taken out by uh, Flash there. But yeah, there you go. Oh, there, there is a bug I want to show off with Cy uh, Cyan too, but uh, soon enough, viewers, soon enough. And we get a Hero Ring. That's a very good relic there. It uh, boosts, bo it's basically an atlas armlet and an earrings in one. 
So we want to give that to Edgar there, since he can do both physical and magical attacks that I actually care about. Uh, Hero Ring still does not stack with Atlas Armlet, though, but it does stack with Earrings, so that's pretty good. Yeah, you can't stack two Atlas Armlets together, or an Atlas Armlet and a Hero Ring. This must be that guy who's uh, trying to build the Colosseum, huh? Well, I guess it's too bad. You know, we're trying to bring peace to the world. Never see that Colosseum. Nope. Never see that later in the game. All right, well, now we should actually get along with our quest and find Terra. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.